though courage did much to stay the crowds, he could not meet their grief with aught but scorn. He felt it much below his manner proud, and thought as much until his final morn. Then the people's princess, young Innocence, who had grown up in the company of all, but even she could not have them see sense, so breathed her last within her lonely halls. And so it felt to a hero of old, one of the companions of the late king, rare among nobles, his palace was sold, took to the streets with his proceeds to bring. Example thus set, he endeavoured for more, invested and conquered with renewed vigour. So profit and plunder were brought to his door. His means were engorged, as his gifts thus grew bigger. He outgrew the mere cash paid to all, instead looked to projects to satisfy, better still perhaps to awe and enthrall, as though by a trick they were pacified. Yet this was never his intent. Liberality knew only the duty. By wisdom and duty and courage he was bent, in pursuit of the ideals of beauty. So even though his reign was short, the people remember him still. He set the example of righteous comport and turned them away from their once vicious thrills.